Oh my god, did, Molly, did you see the episode of, um, of Once Upon a Time last night? Oh my gosh, yes. It was unbelievable. They really mess up the fairy tales, though. Yeah, but isn't it a cool show? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Hey guys, did you hear we're gonna get a new student today? A new student? A new student? I was the newest student. Well, obviously, you're not anymore, Kit. Who is this new student? I don't know, but Mrs. Um, Keith told told me that I have to be her, be the new student student buddy. Do you know the girl's name? Her name's Caitlin or something, or Kayla, something like that. Okay, class, please. Can I have your attention, please? Today, um, our new student is going to join us today. Her name is Kayla, and I want you to be very nice to her. Especially you, Christy. I know, I'm her student buddy. That's right. So, um, during free period, I would like you to sit with Kayla, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. She should be here any minute. In the meantime, everybody get out your books for silent reading. And when Kayla gets here, we'll pause and she could tell us a little bit about herself. Okay. Come on in. Hi. I'm Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Everybody, this is Kayla Stevenson. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Hi. So, Kayla, why don't you have a seat between Kirsten and Christy over there? Um, which one are they? They're these two. Have a seat. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you got your ears pierced? Oh yeah, my ears are pierced. Mine are too, but my mom doesn't let me wear earrings except on, um, like, special occasions. And even then, she has to approve of it. That's so cool that you have your ears pierced. Thank you. Okay, class. Um, Kayla, why don't you tell the class a little bit about yourself? Go to the front of the room and tell. Um, okay. Um, my name is Kayla Richards, and um, I moved here from New Jersey. And um, I live with my father. Um, on Willow Street, and, um, I like to dance. I'm a dancer. I love to dance, and I love to act, and I love to sing, so I'm more into the arts. Um, I'm an only child. I don't have any brothers. It's just me and my dad at my house. Oh. What happened to your mom? Um, my mom died when I was a baby. I don't really remember her. All I know is that she died of cancer and everything, so that's like basically the story with that. And um I'm hoping to make new friends in my new class. Thank you, Kayla. You may sit down. Okay, class. Let's open our books for silent reading. Kayla, do you have a book to read? Uh, yeah, it's in my bag. Okay, we'll get it out and read. We're going to have silent reading time right now. I know it's a weird way to start the day, but... Oh, no, that's, that's okay. I understand. Okay. Oh, my God, she's such a loser. Okay, class, see you tomorrow. Um, Christy, since you've been so nice to me all day, would you like to come over to my house? Sure, I'd love to. Well, if you want, I could wait by the office while you call your mom. Actually, um... Actually, I'd rather, my parents leave me home alone a lot, so it's okay if I come over. I'll just leave a message on the machine. 
Okay, cool. I can't wait for you to meet my dad. I'll go get all things, and then we can go. Okay, great. Christy, I thought we were going to hang out today. Well, Kit, I really want to make Kayla feel welcome. And you haven't been really nice to her. Because I don't like her. Why? Because I used to be the new student, and now she took my place. I thought you and I were best friends. You know perfectly well we're friends. You can come too. I'm sure Kayla wouldn't mind. I mean, it's not like I invited Kayla to my house. She invited me to her house. But to be honest, I don't think Kayla wants to invite you because you and everybody were really mean to her. That's because she doesn't belong here. Why doesn't she belong here? She's no different than the rest of us. Because she probably thinks we're babies because we don't have our ears pierced. That's so stupid of you to think that. Don't call me stupid. I didn't say you were stupid. I just said that what you said was stupid. Ugh, whatever. Have fun with your new best friend. I don't care. Whatever, Kit. Hey, Christy, are you ready to go? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. It doesn't concern you. Let's just go. Okay. Dad, I'm home. In the kitchen, Kayla. Okay. Come on, Christy. Let me introduce you to my father. Okay. I'm coming. Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetie. How was your first day at your school? It was fine. And I made a friend. Come on in, Christy. Don't be shy. Please, shy is not even in my vocabulary. You're Kayla's dad? Yes, it's nice to meet you, Christy. Yeah, you too. Um, Dad, me and Christy are just gonna go in my room, okay? Do you guys want anything? No, we're okay. Come on, Christy. Okay, I'm coming. Well, let me know if you guys need anything. Thanks, Dad. Okay, this is my bedroom. Make yourself at home. Your room's nice. Thanks. Um, Kayla, if I ask you something, Will you promise not to get offended? Ouch. Ugh. Well, I can't promise you unless you tell me what you need to tell me. Or ask me what you need to ask me or whatever. What's up? Why are you white and your dad's black? Oh, that. I'm, um... I'm adopted. Oh. You didn't mention that when you were introducing yourself to the class. So he's not your real dad? Christy, I gotta tell you something, but you gotta promise not to tell anybody. I promise. What is it? My name is Kayla, but I had to legally change it from a different name. What? Why? You didn't like your other name? No. Where I lived in New Jersey, I was in very abusive foster homes. I was known as Sabrina Carpenter. But I um, changed my name to Kayla Richards when I got adopted here. You mean you even changed your first name? Why? Well... Back in New Jersey, all the foster parents I've had were threatening me and molesting me and everything. I don't really want to get into it, but that's why I moved here. To get away from them. I'm protected here. My God, I'm so sorry, whoever you are. I know I shouldn't have told you. Because now you don't know what to call me. Just call me Kayla. Okay, I will. Even though that's not your real name. It is now because I legally changed it. It's on paper and everything. But you can't tell anybody. Okay. Christy, I mean it. If anybody found out and they... 
everything would be ruined. You gotta promise not to tell. Okay, I told you I wouldn't tell, okay? And I promise, I won't. I should have told you sooner, but... Well, it's okay. I mean, we've only known each other for a day. I mean, not even 24 hours. So, of course, you're not going to tell me right away. I'm glad that you could be honest with me. Yeah, me too. But I, I, I'm serious about you not telling people. I told you, I won't tell anybody. I promise. Thanks. So... On that note, would you like to go on my laptop? Um, actually, I'm gonna, um, go. I thought you were gonna stay here for dinner and everything. Now I can't. I have too much homework. Oh. Okay. Um, if that's, do you know how to get home from here? Yes, I've lived here longer than you. Just asking. Are you sure you don't want to stay for dinner? Yes, I'm sure. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Dad. What are you doing? Just watching some videos on my phone. Honey, um, can you put your phone down? I won't talk to you. What's up? <sighs> Sweetie, um, is everything okay between you and Christy? I don't really know. I know you told me not to tell any of the kids here, but I told them all secret. Kayla. I'm sorry, Dad, but I felt that I could trust Christy. But it seems like she's mad at me. She just, when, once she found out the truth about me, she wanted to go home. And she kind of brushed me aside. Well, honey, this is one of the reasons why I don't want you to tell anybody. I know. And I shouldn't have, and I'm sorry. I promise I won't tell anybody else. Do you think Christy would tell other people? All I can do is hope that she won't. Listen, I'm, I'm a little too tired to discuss this right now. We'll talk about it more in the morning, okay? But, um, listen, it's past your bedtime, and I want you to get some sleep. Okay. Good night, honey. Good night. Christy won't tell. Maybe she really did have to leave. I'm not gonna worry about it. Better turn my light off. Kayla, wake up. Hmm? Oh. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, honey. You have a visitor. I do? Who? I'll bring him in. Him? Ha! Huh. I knew I would find you. You're gonna come with me. No! No! It's just a bad dream. You've already touched your breakfast, Kayla. Is everything okay? Just not very hungry, I guess. 
Ding dong. I'll get it. Okay. Hey. Hey. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I guess so. Do you want to come in? No, I'd rather talk here. Um, okay. What is it? I want to apologize for my behavior yesterday, how I just ran out on you. I know I'm supposed to be your friend and everything, and I shouldn't have run out on you when you told me something really personal. I just was kind of, it just felt awkward for me. It's okay, Christy. I probably would have done the same thing if that was thrown at me. It's just, it's hard to deal with. I still have nightmares that my foster father, that my real father's going to find me. Is that who you're hiding from? Yeah. My real mom really did die when I was a baby, and I lived with my foster father. I mean, my real father in New Jersey, but he, um, he got arrested for doing what he did to me, but I see all these new, and he's in jail, but I see all these news programs about people escaping, and I've been having nightmares that he comes here to find me. Did you have one last night? Well, yeah, but why are you asking me that? I don't know. Trying to make conversation, I guess. Trying to prove to you that I do care about you. I'm just really sorry that I ran off the way I did. I wasn't acting like a real friend. No, I should have told you the truth. Kayla, we just met. I shouldn't have expected you to tell me your whole life story the day that we first meet. No, you shouldn't have, but I'm so sorry. Listen, I promise I won't tell anybody your secret. You really promise? I really do. It's just going to be between us, I promise. Thanks, Christy, you're a real friend. Good, because we got important matters to discuss. What do you mean? To get revenge on Kit because she doesn't like you and she's mad at me for hanging out with you. You're right, that's a more fun topic to talk about. Kayla, what's going on out there? Who's at the door? It's my friend, Dad. I'm going to come and get my bag and then go to school. Okay. Okay, um, let me give him my bag and we'll go. Okay. Bye, Dad. Is everything okay with you and Christy? Yeah, everything's fine. How'd you know Christy was out the door? I heard you guys talking. Uh, but what about your breakfast? I'll get something on the way to school, I promise. Alright. Give me a kiss. Bye. Bye. Love you. I love you too. Hey, ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Come on. I'm coming. Bye, Dad. Bye, girls. Have a good day. We will.